Once again, here we go in turn three. Dennis sets to the one truck. Jay Sauter the three. They make contact. And Jay Sauter goes up, makes contact with the outside retaining wall. And Dennis Setzer loops it right in front of all these trucks. And somehow they get by him. It's pushed right into the side of the 36. Stanton Barrett in the 36, Randy LaJoy in the 34. These guys were back there racing for about, about 21st, 22nd position. From Tim Fidoa, you see it unfold. Oh, and Darrell Walker gets in the back of the body, and the pole shooter spins. Flag and all the cars are still are going. We have a spin in the middle of turn three. Uh-oh. And he's right in the middle of the racetrack. Here come the leaders. One goes on the inside, the other on the outside. No caution yet. And they still... Oh! oh. Boy, he's about to pull right out in front of a bunch of cars. He's going, but no caution. And that cost Musgrave dearly. Oh, yeah, he, he backed off, went on the outside, and now he's got to come back and gain all that distance. Following Kyle in 42 and a little bit of a tap from Kyle as they start off the turn and around goes Jeremy Mayfield. The car number 22 of Ward Burton gets down on the grass. Morgan Shepard gets by on the outside. No caution. He comes off the corner. He just nails the gas, does a 360 and creates so much smoke that no one really could see. Darrell Walter sneaks by, but all these other cars are really blind. hard to tell from right there. They may have touched back in the corner there, but Chad Little's car, that's the second time he's been around. He has the advantage on the inside of the corner, but he can't stay with him when it comes to muscle and horsepower off the curb. Rusty Wallace, Rusty Wallace in the wall in turn number one. The hood flies up on the Kodiak Pontiac. He was battling Ricky Rudd for third and fourth. And now he's trying to figure out a way to see. You can kind of see Rusty jockeying around there in the driver compartment. How can he see? The hood is back up right in his face, and apparently the middle of the hood has crushed the windshield. The right front of the car heavily damaged. The wheel and tire assembly just flopping there as he tries to make his way back to pit road. Another look at the six. There's the contact right there. And Mount Caroga hit the curb and bounced up into the six. Got his tire down right away. You see it's already down on the wheel. Was running in the 11th position. Oh, cut a tire down. Yeah, that thing never turned. Right front looked like. And no, uh, they're. We're still under green, Krista. Kevin Harvick, what an aggressive restart he had. Oh, Kyle Busch into the wall hard. Elliot Sadler and Kyle Busch make contact. It's not going to be four to one. Four to one for Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, right front oh, damage, got severe damage, and we got problems in turn number four. Josh Richards in the 51 is around. The 09 also with problems. That's Brian Silas. No caution. We stay green. Hamlin reaches the overtime line and they spin Brian, behind him. Behind you. Correct behind you. But it stays caution. green so far. Caution has not come out yet. Well, a great start from Timothy Peters. Went five wide on the inside. Darted up to third place. He trails Tyler Reddick. Oh, oh Austin Reddick Hill into the wall. Already one into the wall. Hard contact for Austin Hill. We talked about that great start for Austin. He rolled off in the sixth position, but it didn't go well from the word go. 